Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial thing stuff. Yeah. Let's uh let's show you guys how to remove the FPS counter with uh Nvidia graphics cards, I guess. Uh always fun and stuff to do that. So if you don't know how to open the uh GeForce experience, that's where you edit the settings. Uh you can type in Nvidia Oh, I guess you can't type it in there. Uh, GeForce? Yeah, yeah. GeForce Experience. Uh, you can click on that. Uh, usually if you have it on uh, Startup, you can click it down here. Uh, I already have it open just for good old purposes of the video and stuff. Uh, so basically, once you get to this menu, which should pop up, it'll have all your games. Uh, if you don't have this downloaded, just uh, go on Google and type in NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Uh, I would recommend downloading it uh, just so it optimizes all your games because you can see it uh, it picks the settings for you and if you don't like them you can uh, you can revert them back. I'm trying to find a game where I can com I can revert it. There you go. You can revert them back as well. So it's pretty good for games and all that. But enough of that. I do have an update. But I've paused it. Go over to preferences on the very right hand side and click FPS counter, and then you can. Uh, position it in four different areas of the screen as you can see over here the 60 is there uh, it is given 60 as an example of the FPS you can see it moves across the screen you can turn it off and on uh, I think if, if it's on the screen it will be there I have no idea but that's how you turn it off and on and stuff and if you click it there you can I think this button's broken but if you do that uh, and then exit, it should work. Uh, so that's how you turn it off and on, pretty much. Um, so, because uh, this was this was annoying me as hell, I had to get rid of it, and I found out how to. So, uh, that's how you do it, I guess. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.